In this video, we are going to implement Ajax sorting. We would allow user to sort by ID, name, and price in both the ascending as well as the descending direction. So within our component, we will need to define two fields, two new properties. So first one would be sort by field, which would hold the column by which we want to sort. So by default, it would be ID. And next would be sort ascending, which would be true by default. So we are going to be sorting by ascending initially. So I'm also going to define them in the query string so that URL change is reflected. Sort by would be shown in the URL except for when it is ID. And I will also show sort ascending except for when it is its value is true. all right now let us use these two fields to change our query so within the render method i'm going to use these two fields to sort by so i'll sort by this sort by field and i will use sort ascending flag to define the direction which would be ascending or descending. And there we go. Let us uh, test this in browser. So now if I reload it, we see that it is sorted by ID ascending and our query is also reflecting it as well. All right. So now what I want is that when user clicks on ID, name or price, I want to change the sorting the sort field to that. So on the click event of this heading, I would need to change this sort by field. Sort by property that we have defined. So let's see how we can do that. Well, I'm going to define a I'm going to change this to a button. And on the button, I'm going to define a click method, which would call a sort by method that I'm going to define soon. I'm going to pass it the ID parameter like this. I'm going to copy this one and I would also do the same for name. I'll change this fl flag to name and same thing i will do for price i would change this parameter to price so now let us define this function in the component so i'm going to define it at the very bottom uh, this method would take a parameter let's call it field and i'm going to set the sort by property to the parameter that has been past like that so now let us test this one so if i click on name we see that the our query has changed same way if i click on price we see that again our query has changed because the sort by parameter has been changed on the click method Next, we will work on this ascending and descending. Again, within this sort by method, I would check if the field passed is same as the current sort by field. So if these two are same, I'm just going to flip the value of sort ascending parameter. I can do so using this not parameter. So this would flip the value. So now uh, let us uh, test this one. So now the price is sort by ascending. And if I click on it again, it is now destroying descending. Same way, if I click on name once and now click on it again, the direction has been reversed. So that seems to be working fine. And we see that our URL is also changing 
accordingly because we have defined this field in the query parameters next what i will do is that i will show some icons over here so that it is more ui friendly to the end user so i'm going to use hero icons which is suggested by the tailwind so if i click on this link and over here i'll need to go to their website and over here we have all the icons i'm going to copy this use these two so i will copy their svg and for the time being i would uh, display them over here later on we will display them conditionally so this is the up icon and i'll also copy the svg of the the other icon and display over here Well, I will need to wrap them in a span tag. I'll give them a class with width, height, and a margin left of two. I will do the same for the other icon as well. Let us uh, test this in the browser. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Uh, it seems fine so now let us display them conditionally well we will display them when the sort field is id so i'll use the if tag to check the sort field i'll close the if tag over here let me just format it a bit and the top icon i would display if the sort ascending is true i'll close the if tag over here and this the other icon i would display if the sort icon is not true sort ascending is not true i'll close it over here and let us test them in the browser yeah it seems to be working fine However, I think I'll need to flip the if condition. So I'll use a not over here. And now let us test this. So, yeah, now it is working fine. When it is sorted by descending, we see this icon. And when I click on it again, on ascending, I see this icon. We'll need to do the same for the name and price as well. So, we'll need to copy this code but i would uh, instead display it via anonymous component so i'll create a component directory and within that i will create our anonymous component i will call it as sort icon dot blade dot php and this would take three properties sort by sort ascending and the next one I'm going to call it sort field. So I'm going to copy that code from here to here. I would change this ID to sort field. I would just format it a bit. And there we go. So now within our view i'm going to remove this and replace it by the definition for the blade component that would be x sort icon and then i would need to pass the three parameters sort field would be id and the next would be sort by which is dollar sort by and sort hyphen ascending which would have the value of sort ascending property that we have created so i'll copy and paste it in the other name and price heading as well i'll change this to name and i will change this to price so now if i go to our browser 
well there seems to be an error well within our component this should be wrapped in the brackets all right let's test this again now if i reload it that error is now gone and if we click on the various heading we see that the sort icon is working fine it is working fine for the price it is working fine for the name and it is also working fine for the id so with that we have achieved the ajax pagination on multiple columns using livewire we see how simple it was and if we check at our if we look at our code it is also very easy to understand